interesting than the remaining, but a current revelation has induced a primary divide among scientists as they take a look at the facts. Now, the long-awaited moment of clarity has arrived as renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson unveils the stunning findings in space. Join us as we discover how Voyager 1 detected 500 unknown objects passing through space and explore Tyson's thoughts on this amazing discovery. On June 30, 198, a stony asteroid crashed into Earth, striking a city in Siberia, Russia. The powerful impact of this event resulted in the knocking down of about 2,000 square kilometers. The profound importance of this event reverberated worldwide, causing a global surprise wave. Subsequent research led to the book, The Unspoken Alliance Between Astrophysics and the Military, by Neil deGrasse Tyson, where he highlighted the convergence of scientific exploration and national security, advocating for improved investment in space exploration to shield our planet. This superb work revolutionized public awareness surrounding the importance of space exploration. In a surprising turn of events, NASA's spacecraft Voyager 1 has detected 500 unknown objects passing by in space, leaving scientists puzzled. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the world-renowned astrophysicist, has once again emerged to provide much-needed clarity. But as scientists delved into the mystery of these 500 unidentified objects, they stumbled upon an awesome revelation about Voyager 1 itself. But before we look at that revelation, let's first familiarize ourselves with the remarkable Voyager 1 spacecraft. Voyager 1, the gallant space explorer, has presently traveled over an amazing 145 billion miles away from Earth. The speed at which the spacecraft travels through space is truly amazing, covering a distance approximately 3.6 times the space between the Earth and the Sun each year. But there's more to the interstellar probe than just its speed, toughness, and distance from Earth. Voyager has sent several groundbreaking revelations to us, like the recent 500 unknown objects it detected out there in the vastness of space. These are unusual celestial objects that we've never seen or diagnosed before. We will get into that massive revelation in just a moment, but there is a question that's likely on your mind right now. How can a spacecraft that was launched way back in 1977 still be functioning and delivering such groundbreaking data? Well, the answer lies in the awesome engineering and foresight that went into Voyager 1's design. One of the key secrets to Voyager's longevity is its dual redundant computer systems. Each Voyager spacecraft, including Voyager 1, was equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, the Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and the Altitude and Articulation Control Subsystems, AACS. This redundancy served as a critical safeguard, allowing seamless transitions between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer components, thereby extending their lifespan. The computer systems aboard Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 were designed as a distributed system with three dual redundant pairs of computers. This redundancy ensured that even if one system failed, the other could take over, preventing mission-critical failures. To make the best use of limited power sources, Voyager's units depended on hardwired logic, meaning the computers were designed with simplified hardwired circuits to ensure that they could function within the constraints of power budgets and time limitations during the spacecraft's development. But power management is fundamental in sustaining Voyager 1's operational integrity. The spacecraft's distance from the sun, where it can harness solar energy, poses a significant challenge to maximizing power efficiency. Engineers had to come up with innovative ways to conserve and optimize power usage. The power control strategy employed by this fantastic man-made probe is truly remarkable. One critical aspect of power management involves selectively powering down non-essential systems. Engineers meticulously evaluate which components or subsystems are not essential for the primary mission objectives. For instance, heaters associated with certain scientific instruments were deactivated. These heaters were initially intended to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures for optimal performance. By turning them off, power consumption is significantly reduced thereby extending the spacecraft's overall lifespan. This decision to power down non-essential systems is not taken lightly. It requires a careful evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific goals of the mission. Engineers collaborate closely with scientists to ensure that deactivating specific systems does not compromise the quality and availability of scientific data. 
The goal is to strike a balance that maximizes power efficiency while maintaining critical functionality. But it's not all. Voyager 1's power management systems also adapt to the changing conditions of its environment. As the spacecraft travels further from the sun, the available solar energy decreases. To compensate for this, Voyager 1 adjusts its power usage accordingly. This adaptive approach ensures that available energy resources are efficiently allocated to support essential operations and data transmission. Over time, there have been ongoing technical advancements and upgrades in power management techniques, allowing engineers to refine and optimize the power systems of the Voyager probes. These improvements include more efficient energy distribution, advanced battery charging techniques, and advancements in power law and control. Thanks to these meticulous power management strategies, engineers have successfully extended Voyager 1's operational lifespan, enabling it to continue its remarkable scientific journey through the cosmos. Since the spacecraft was initially designed to last for just five years, the fact that it's still sending back data almost 50 years later is nothing short of amazing. It underscores the determination and skill of the scientists and engineers who have worked tirelessly to keep Voyager 1 operational. But despite all this careful planning and engineering, the depths of deep space remain unpredictable. Don't go anywhere because a major discovery is coming. What did Voyager 1 discover? What did Voyager 1 discover that surprised scientists? While there are some expectations of what Voyager 1 might encounter meteoroids, asteroids, and space rocks, there is always the potential for unexpected surprises. One such unexpected twist in the Voyager 1 journey was the spacecraft's claim of detecting 500 mysterious objects. This revelation caused quite a stir and raised significant concerns among the researchers working on the project. These mysterious signals and anomalies in the data came as a complete surprise. Voyager 1 began transmitting telemetry data back to Earth, but the readings were strange, and there was no clear explanation for what was happening. The researchers classified this phenomenon as an anomaly. But despite the erratic transmission, Voyager 1 continued to respond to commands from mission control, albeit with a slight delay in communication. This presented a complex situation and deepened the mystery. What was particularly challenging about this anomaly was that it did not trigger Voyager 1's onboard fault protection systems. These systems are designed to activate when anomalies are detected, putting the spacecraft into a safe mode that allows engineers to investigate and diagnose the issue. In this case, however, Voyager 1 continued its operations without entering safe mode, adding to the intrigue. After exhaustive research, the anomaly was traced back to the Altitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS. The AACS plays a critical role in precisely orienting the spacecraft and controlling its movements. It was found that the AACS had been sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that had ceased functioning years ago. This defunct computer, which should not have been involved in data processing, had somehow become entangled in the telemetry transmission process, leading to the corruption of the data being sent back to Earth. The mission now was to fix this anomaly and determine whether there were indeed 500 unknown objects out there. The solution involved instructing the AACS to redirect telemetry data to the appropriate functioning computer. This repair was considered low risk and was successfully achieved. However, addressing this anomaly was not without its unique set of challenges. One of the most significant barriers faced by the mission team was the substantial time delay in communication. Voyager 1 is now positioned approximately 146 billion miles away from Earth, a truly staggering distance. As a result, it takes a considerable amount of time for radio signals to travel through this vast expanse. When the mission team at NASA's Deep Space Network, DSN, sends a command to Voyager 1, it travels as a radio signal at the speed of light. The DSN is an extensive network of colossal radio antennas strategically placed around the globe. Its primary function is to establish two-way communication between Earth and deep space missions. The DSN collaborates with various space agencies worldwide, creating a unified effort to explore and investigate the mysteries of space. The communication with Voyager 1 occurs through radio waves, utilizing the massive antennas at these DSN stations. When transmitting data from the spacecraft to Earth, a frequency of either 23 gigahertz or 84 gigahertz is used on channel 18. On the flip side, when sending signals from Earth to Voyager 1, 
a frequency of 21 gigahertz is employed. Despite the tremendous speed of light, even at this speed, it takes about 22 hours for a command to reach the spacecraft. This time delay adds a layer of complexity to communicating with Voyager 1. The mission team must carefully plan and execute commands, considering the expected response time. Any errors or problems can result in additional delays and complications. During the anomaly research, this time delay posed a specific challenge. It meant that diagnostic and troubleshooting procedures were significantly extended. Instructions needed to be carefully crafted, keeping in mind the 22-hour waiting period before receiving any confirmation or response from Voyager 1. But here's the remarkable part. Despite the substantial time delay, each message transmitted to Voyager 1 was not just adding to the information. It was a critical part of the mission. The time delay may limit real-time control and interaction, but it does not diminish the importance of the communication. Each message was a vital piece of the puzzle in resolving the anomaly. Ultimately, the anomaly was fixed at its source, and the faulty computer was shut down. Voyager 1, the majestic spacecraft, could then continue on its extraordinary journey through the vastness of space, sending back valuable data and insights to Earth. Now that we know the previous malfunction of the space probe has been resolved, let's examine the remarkable accomplishments of the spaceship when it had no problems. The primary goal of the awesome spacecraft, launched on September 5, 1977, was to explore our solar system. However, its journey extended beyond that initial purpose. Voyager 1's story began with a unique twist. Months before reaching Jupiter, it began transmitting pictures of the gas giant. These early images, showcasing Jupiter's astonishing swirling clouds and the enduring Great Red Spot, were an instant hit at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. But this was just the prelude to a journey that would redefine space exploration. What truly set the stage for the Voyager's groundbreaking observations was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io. This unassuming moon, slightly larger than Earth's moon, held an impressive secret. It was the most volcanically active body in our entire solar system. Voyager 1's instruments detected unusual signals from Io, and the vivid images it captured unveiled a world of towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by the ejection of volcanic material. Among these, Pele, one of Io's most prominent volcanoes, has erupted as high as 30 times the elevation of Mount Everest, blanketing an area nearly the size of France. The mysteries of our solar system were unfolding before our eyes. Before the recent mind-bending discovery of 500 unknown objects passing by in space, the dual voyagers were wowing us since their launch. One of their most unexpected findings was the existence of Jupiter's rings. These delicate rings, while faint, added an aura of mystique to the already enigmatic gas giant. Voyager 1 added another piece to the puzzle by revealing that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, was encased in an icy shell over 60 miles thick. This challenged our previous assumptions about the nature of remote celestial bodies and ignited a new wave of curiosity about the potential habitability of icy moons. But there's more to the story. As the Voyagers bid farewell to Jupiter, they received a vital farewell gift, a gravity assist. This gravitational boost, much like a cosmic slingshot, propelled them towards Saturn. Without it, they would have been stuck in the sun's gravitational grip, unable to venture further into space. Voyager 1's path took it close to Saturn's intriguing moon Titan. Shrouded in an orange hazy atmosphere, Titan's mystery stirred scientists' curiosity, prompting in-depth studies of its complex chemistry. Voyager 1 then set its course northward, leaving the plane of the planets and embarking on a journey beyond the solar system. Amidst all these discoveries and marvels, there was one individual who played a pivotal role in extending the missions beyond their initial goals the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. As a member of the Voyager mission's imaging team, Sagan passionately advocated for one final set of images before shutting down the spacecraft cameras. These images, he believed, would be a parting gift to humanity, offering a final view of our home planet from the depths of space. Sagan's persistence paid off, and on Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back toward the solar system. The result was a series of 60 images, one of which was iconic, the pale blue dot. 
taken from a distance of 3.8 billion miles, it remains the farthest image of our planet ever recorded. Earth appears as a minuscule pale blue speck, barely discernible amidst the vast cosmic backdrop. Voyager 1 showcases an incredible tale of exploration, perseverance, and toughness. Even after four decades, the brave explorer continues to transmit invaluable data from the farthest corners of our cosmic neighborhood. But what's truly surprising is their reliance on 8-track tapes. Yes, you heard it right. These extraordinary probes still make use of 8-track tapes, standing as a testament to the brilliance of the mission's architects. That these robust tapes have stood the test of time is remarkable. You may wonder why 8-track tapes were chosen at the time of their launch. Digital storage, as we know it today, was in its infancy. They needed a reliable and durable data storage system, and 8-track tapes fit the requirements perfectly. What's more remarkable is that the data stored on these tapes is not your run-of-the-mill content. It is scientific data of immeasurable significance about the outer planets, moons, and interstellar space. These tapes hold the key to understanding some of the most profound mysteries of the universe. Now, why is Neil deGrasse Tyson so enthusiastic about this recent discovery, and what does it have to do with extraterrestrial beings? Let's talk about Neil deGrasse Tyson, the famous astrophysicist, prolific writer, and charming host of Star Talk on National Geographic is essentially the man who makes astrophysics cool. Neil deGrasse Tyson has a knack for making complex scientific concepts accessible to the general public, which has earned him a large following and considerable admiration. But beyond his role as a science communicator, Tyson is also a respected scientist with an impressive body of research and scholarly work to his name. As the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City, Tyson is deeply involved in education and outreach efforts aimed at inspiring the next generation of scientists and explorers. His passion for space exploration and his dedication to advancing our understanding of the cosmos are evident in everything he does.